Novak Djokovic and Daniel Medvedev might be in the throes of an intense on-court rivalry, but off it they appear very much united over their views on the COVID-19 vaccination. Djokovic, 34, should in theory be chasing a record-breaking 21st Grand Slam title at January's Australian Open, but his participation in Melbourne appears in serious doubt after Victoria's Premier Daniel Andrews reiterated that no unvaccinated players would be permitted to play. That's despite Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison being open to allowing unvaccinated athletes to compete, providing they complete a 14-day quarantine period before the tournament begins. Djokovic has thus far refused to reveal his vaccination status, which has been widely viewed as an admission that HES yet to receive either of his jabs. H is also vociferously opposed the notion of the vaccine being mandatory for professional players to take part in ATP or WTA Tour events. Now Medvedev, who lost in the final to the Serbian in the 2021 Australian Open, but then beat him at the US Open in September to deny him that coveted 21st slam win, has backed his rival's right to privacy. The Russian star himself has declined to disclose whether HES received the vaccine, and said revealing medical records can leave you at a disadvantage in tennis. He was also cryptic about his own Australian Open prospects. I always said it, that I really like Novak's answer about this. I want to keep my medical, no matter if it's about vaccine, leg injury, head injury. I want to keep my medical private for a reason, he said. I feel like tennis is such a brutal sport where you're always one-on-one -on -one against your opponent, and any information you give him can go against you. If you're playing Australia, it's obvious you're vaccinated. So that's why I said I'm willing to play Australia, but I won't say if you'll see me there, but we're going to see in January. Medvedev, 25, was speaking to reporters ahead of this week's Rolex Paris Masters, the tournament he won in 2020 behind closed doors. Djokovic is also competing in Paris, his first action since losing that final at Flushing Meadows, and in his press conference he doubled down on his previous pledge not to make a decision on Melbourne before a statement was released by Tennis Australia. Right now we don't have any official announcement or statement. So until that's out, I won't be talking about this anymore, because, you know, I don't want to be part of the stories about the assumptions and what-ifs, he said. When official condition requirements to travel to Australia and play in Australia are out, then obviously I'll see what I personally do with that, and also the bigger group of the players, you know, because the situation is obviously different in Australia than most parts of the world. Djokovic is hopeful of a good display in Paris ahead of this month's ATP finals in Turin. Having received a bye to the second round, Hell face Hungarian player Martin Fuksavic in his opening match. Hopes of a first clash with Andy Murray in four years are already over though, despite the pair originally being in the same side of the draw. Murray, 34, was beaten on Monday night in a dramatic tie with German player Dominik Kerpfer, who came in at just two hours' notice following the withdrawal of Jensen Brooksby.